Ocho Kitchen, Bon John, Tom Miguel, maintenance. I want to talk to you about some tools that is handy to have around the house. So it saves you money, you don't have to call anybody in to do little major jobs or whatever. First of all, every house should have a ladder like this, it has a shelf. You can get up here, clean your ceilings, put your stuff down here, your tools, your drink. It's a, it's a good thing to have. This type of ladder, it holds up to 300 pounds. So it's good to put tools and painting or whatever you need. Secondly, we got cordless drill. They're good to have in the house. You got to hang up a pitcher or some shelving. You don't want to have a plug-in drill where you got to drag the cord everywhere. It's good to have. Let's talk about the screwdrivers. What? You can't find a slotted or the Phillips head? All you need is a six in one. You got the Phillips head, slotted, sockets. It's a handy screwdriver. This is all you need. Throw away all the other screwdrivers. Plumber's wrench. You got a leaky faucet. You got to tighten the pipe up. You got to remove a pipe. This is what you need. Then we have a faucet wrench. This is for your kitchen and your bathroom, where you can't reach up there with well, one of these or a pair of pliers. This makes it work easy, so you can grab the faucet nut and take it off. Then we have the handy two-in-one flashlight work light with a hook. When you need a flashlight, you got a flashlight. When you need a work light, you got a work light and you can hang it anywhere. It's a good tool to have. Then we have a channel lock. Same purpose as this, but this is pretty much, you know, easier for a homeowner to use. Need on those pliers. You're doing little repairs on electrical, your light fixture or something you need to fix. It cuts your wires, you can get in there. Let me see what else we got here. The electrical pliers. This is good to have. It's the same as the needle nose, but it's more heavy duty. Then when you got those stubborn plumbing problems, your sink is backed up, your, your sink, tub, you use a snake. The snake is a good tool to have. It saves you hundreds of dollars in plumbing repairs. So instead of calling a plumber in for a drain, this is what you use. But I got something even simpler for the bathroom and kitchen sink. For $2.99, you can purchase one of these. This is for the sinks, not the toilet. Use this for the sinks. You unclog it, you don't have to pay anybody to come in. Saves you hundreds of dollars in plumbing fees. So, that's about pretty much what, what tools we have that you should have in the house. And a tape measure. It's always good to have a tape measure in the house. When you're measuring things, projects, this comes in handy. A hammer, essential for the house. Electrical tape, when you got a break in your cord, and you gotta, you know, you don't want to throw your light fixture or something away until you get a fix. Use electric tape. And we all know what duct tape is good for. Fixing anything. So these are essential things you should have in the house. And ratchet wrenching. These are good to have. You don't really need it, but they're good to have. They come in different sizes. And it's like a socket, but it's easier to use. So, when you have your little projects to do, make sure you have a ladder with a shelf. It makes your work easier. Hanging blinds, shelves, pictures. It's always good in a cordless drill. So, I hope you liked everything that I showed you. And it comes in handy. And it saves you money. Thank you.